Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today I have another Helium Miner video for you, and this one is going to be how to improve your antenna on your existing Helium Miner. This is gonna be the best antenna I recommend for Amazon to get you started, and then we'll talk about other antennas you could possibly get. Let's get started. <music> Now, before we get started on why this antenna was a really great start and why it's better than the one that comes built in, I want to get to the differences of DBI because I didn't know the differences. Jimmy's promo really helped me out explain it and then I researched more and really understand them better now. So there is a big thing with first DBIs that come with yours and then what you can upgrade to. So most antennas have a 2.5 dBi to a 4 dBi. And I want you to know what that actually means. So anywhere between two and four, you're getting spheres essentially. So what this means is the antenna is going up and around you to get the entire spectrum. And that is going to be the best point to start off with. As you see more and more people get helium miners, you might see this not be enough, but really to start off with, this is gonna be the best way to go about it. Now, as we get further along, you might see, hey, there's a lot of miners popping up near me. And if you happen to live in a two-story building, if you're comfortable with mounting a antenna on the roof, or if you are placing a helium miner in a taller building, such as a business, then these are reasons why you'd wanna get higher DBIs. So what the higher DBIs are gonna do is they're gonna give you a different kind of network. So say if I had a bunch of three DBIs around me and my antenna is a three DBI, then I would want to probably change it at that point, especially since I do live in a two story house. So then I might wanna to go to a five or a seven for most two story house. If I felt comfortable going on the roof, I could go all the way to a nine or a 10. So what this does is it spreads out and reaches much, much further distances than a 3 dBi, 4 dBi could. But the downside of this is actually the fact that these ones will not actually go down as much. So basically you're getting across, but not down. The reason why that's bad, of course, is because if you are not in a tall building, if you're not in a two story, if you're not on the roof, you basically are minimizing your network a very, very low. Basically anything like a, you know, a slight uh, increase in elevation, it's not going to go through. So this is more ideal for people. Again, if you're in a higher elevation, if you're in a two story, things like that is really where it's going to improve the signal. So this is the difference between three DBIs and other ones that you wanna make sure that if there are a lot of miners around you and you can check to see what they have in the Helium app, then you're gonna be like, okay, maybe I need to get a different antenna, especially again, if you can go on the roof or if you're in a two story house. So which antenna am I recommending and why? So I'm recommending a three DBI antenna. And the reason why is because it's a much, much better antenna that what comes with your miners. And again, for me, 3 dBi was a perfect starting point, and it's even been better than a 4 dBi or 2.5 tested in the same area. So this one's been really good, and especially because it's a lot better quality. So this is an omnidirectional fiberglass, and trust me, that is important. I've gotten plastic ones. I got a bunch starting off with that didn't do well, and that aren't in this video. So this one was a really good quality one and it definitely improved the signal. Again, getting me anywhere from a half a token to all the way up to two tokens more per day than what I did the previous month. So it definitely has improved even with more miners popping up around me. Now, this one was really nice. And again, the quality and the range is just better than what the one that came with it did. And I have the rack one for this demonstration, but I've also used it when antennas weren't that good. So in my mother-in-law's house, I've connected a Nebra miner and that one just had so many issues with the antenna, it would not work. Switched it for this, beautiful. It's working great now and it's mining the way it should be. 
So that is a big deal. You want to make sure that if you're having any issues with your miner, this will upgrade it. But how do you mount this? Well, I didn't want to go on the roof. I didn't want to do anything like that. I just wanted it right next to where the miner was, but to get the best signal. So because you want to put your miner next to a window when possible, this is going to give you a much better signal. I actually used this thing that Jimmy is promo came up with for his first antennas, and that is a car mount. So you use a suction cup to connect it to a window, and then this car mount will grab the antenna perfectly. And it works. It just works it is definitely diy but you don't have to drill anything you don't have to do anything like that you just have to have it and it's ready to go so this has helped me tremendously it's gotten me better signal and we will be reviewing higher number dpis in another two-story house that i have near here because again too many hotspots came around it and now it's getting less and less tokens so time to upgrade my antenna Make sure to subscribe and check out and wait for those videos, but let me know which antenna are you using in your miner right now. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you so much again for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Also follow us on social media at YouTube tech guy and check out some more great tech videos on your screen right now.